Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Floyd Country Store Virtual Floyd Radio Show in support of the Friends of Floyd Country Store fundraising campaign. We're glad you're here, and I've never hosted the Floyd Radio Show, but I understand they always start the show off with a little bit of comedy. So let's have our resident joke teller come in here now. Please make welcome Sadie. What do you call an elephant at the North Pole? What? Lost. What do George Washington, Martin Luther King Jr., and Abraham Lincoln all have in common? What? They were all born on a holiday. And after the pandemic, you don't have to worry about your Christmas being isolated. Because after the 12 days of Christmas, your house will be crowded with 23 loudly singing birds, a pear tree, and 50 crazy people. from this part of the country called Roscoe and y'all will meet the players that we're playing at just a little bit later on in the show. Uh, thank y'all for being here and uh, we are here for a special reason. The Floyd Country Store has uh, featured live music here for the past 40 years and we want to keep that going and with the pandemic and everything involved it's just been tough times for everybody but we hope that you'll support this cause and we want to keep this venue open for old time and bluegrass music because we don't have enough of these venues around as it is. But uh, we want to keep going, and uh, thank you for joining in, and we hope we can do something you'll enjoy before the night's over. I want to introduce two special guests here, actually three special guests that uh, – are heroes of mine, and uh, I've been listening to for a long time. The first one, he, I've been listening to him since he was a kid, and he's a member of the Lonesome River Band now, and I get to work with him every week. Make welcome Jesse Smathers over there. Hey, Jesse. Oh, Jesse. <laughs> On the banjo. Jesse James. Coming to you from Henry, Virginia, and uh, to me, one of the finest that ever played the banjo, and probably half of what I know I learned from him. And he's one of the greatest. This is Mr. Gene Parker. Gene yeah. And the recipient last year of the uh, IBMA Distinguished Achievement Award and one of the finest band leaders and singers and bus drivers and bus mechanics I've ever known in my life. 
and uh, and probably my best friend ever in the world. That's Mr. Alan Mills right there. Yes, sir. Thank you kindly, Sam. Appreciate it very good. Uh, I'll say hello to uh, to all the folks who are listening, and, and a special thanks to Dylan for asking me to come by. I said, I wanted to know if I'd come up and hang out with these guys. And I said, what are they going to do? And he said, well, they're going to play some music. I said, really? I said, well, count me in on it a little bit. But it's a <clears throat> neat treat if you'll find, uh, if you check the history of what goes on at this place. It's unique, and it's still has the authentic start that it did. And we hope we keep it that way. Right. Thank you for your support. Yes. Yeah. What's that G called? Oh. Let's do a little flat and scrubs. How about it? Yeah. I stand on the corner with the low down blues, red big hole in the bottom of my shoes. Honey, let me be your salty dog. Let me be your salty dog. I won't be your man at all. Honey, let me be your salty dog. Sal, I know you are the rundown slipper and the toy of shoe. I let me be your salty dog. Let me be your salty dog. I will be your man at all. I let me be your salty dog. Well, I 
night down the wildwood, sitting on the log, a finger on the trigger, and I on the hog. And let me be your sort of dog. Pulled the trigger and a gun said go. The shot fell over in Mexico. And let me be your sort of dog. Salty dog, I won't be your man at all. Honey, let me be your salty dog. Um, best I ever heard on this stage right there. <laughs> this microphone is, uh, I, uh, I think it's, uh, uh, must be about my age. It's got the droops. <laughs> That's all right, we don't worry about it. Don't. Don't disturb him, Al, whatever he's doing. We, we don't bother, bother nothing. There. See, Sam is in F, and I, I'll, I'll get it, Dylan. Thank you. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Thank, thank you for your kind of oh, I, just, just get it over your way. Go ahead and get to it. Let me share a tune with you that uh, it was a story about a couple of people I knew and grew up around in a little town of Danville, Virginia. Any of you people might be listening in and know about what Danville is. If you haven't heard or know about, most uh, den people identify with where the wreck of the old 97 happened back in the... Well, it happened right after it wrecked, I think it was. Best I'd heard of it. <laughs> right before it was. <laughs> Just before it wrecked when it's coming down. <laughs> but there's a landmark there, and I grew up kind of in the shadows of that old Dan River textile mill down there. Look on your maps and find out where it is. and uh, The... My mother was raised in Franklin County, from where we are, as we speak right now, not too far from here. She uh, never wanted to come back to the mountains. For some reason, I loved them. And uh, we were attending church in the middle 50s in Danville, and there's a couple of people that were very instrumental in the church we were attending. There was a gentleman and a lady that were sweethearts. They were choir directors, Sunday school teachers. But they never were married, and I didn't ever really feel I didn't know what had happened there. But the lady became ill and passed away when she was just 40 years of age. And that gentleman lived his entire life and was never, ever married. And we titled the story, Wild Mountain Flowers for Mary. <laughs> We grew up living close to each other Went to school and played side to side And I longed for the day I would ask her If she would be my bride I picked some wild mountain flowers for Mary And told her I loved her today but she said we never could marry that her mother would stand in the way her daddy died when she was very young and she never knew love from a man And I tried hard to show her that I loved her And tried to make her mother understand I picked some wild mountain flowers for Mary And told her I loved her today but she said we never could marry That her mother would stand in the way Now my days of youth are gone But I am happy and my time's not very far away I pick some wild mountain flowers 
rose for Mary And placed them on her grave today I picked some wild mountain flowers for Mary And told her I loved her today But she said we never could marry That her mother would stand in the way She said we never could marry That her mother would stand in the way Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you all the much, and I appreciate all the people around the country that uh, have kept that alive through listening to our records and requesting it too. Gene Parker uh, and I got acquainted back in the 60s, and uh, I realized what a fantastic individual, part singer, banjo player, and the whole nine yards was. And, and uh, we uh, started uh, doing some things in the late 60s, and uh, from that on, it just matured. And about 1973, we got together just as a bluegrass ensemble, and uh, for about 40 years, we played music, run up down the road, lost sleep, lost money, borrowed money, sent home my wife, would you please meet us 20 miles down the road with a can of gas, the bus run out of gas. <laughs> Th these ain't made up stories, my wife would attest to that. So, But it's, it's been a great uh, running adventure. He's retired, I'm retired. I ain't tired, but I'm just retired, you know, what I'm talking about. I love this music, I love the people in it, and uh, I appreciate Dylan for asking me just to be a part of it. You folks, please help uh, to keep this business live here. And if you've never been to the Floyd Country Store, you're missing on a treat to come here and see what's there, and you can be a part of it, hopefully, when this pandemic is gone. Sammy, what you got going on? Oh, we're going to bring on another act here. And thank you all for being with us. Yes, sir. We appreciate it. And you'll see these guys later on in the show. And uh, some of the finest people I know and, uh, have done a lot for me over the years and for bluegrass music. This next group we're going to bring up is uh, a great group of folks, uh, Jeremy and Karina Stevenson, Stevens from uh, – High Fidelity, and a great new group. They're nominated for the best new group in the IBMAs this year, and uh, they're going to do some great stuff for you. All make them welcome, Jeremy and Karina. Hi, we're Jeremy and Karina, the Stevens Brothers, and we're just so honored to be a part of this uh, fundraiser for the Floyd Country Store. I remember as a preteen going to the Floyd Country Store, and uh, performing with uh, the band I was part of, the first group I ever played with, Shallow Creek, many years ago. And uh, I remember we got up there one time, and uh, these two fellows pulled up in a Cadillac with horns on the front, and uh, all they did was talk about playing with Lefty. I guess that was Lefty for Zale, I don't know, but uh, they performed that night, and we played too, and it was a uh, really special evening and I had a good time then and every time I go back I have a good time and it's just an honor and a privilege to be a part of this here as well. I always like to see all my friends there in Floyd. The first time that I got to go to Floyd was when I was, I guess I was about 16 and I was playing with a, a group called the Harmons, a group from Illinois where I'm from and their cousins live down there around the Floyd area and I always remember driving by there and thinking how great it would be to play the country store when I was younger. So, so glad, just like Jeremy said, every chance we get to come visit the store. And we hope that uh, you'll get to come visit the store as well when uh, all this business kind of clears up and we can get out of the house a little more. That's right. So, um, Karina and I will do you a couple numbers here. Get my glasses situated here and uh, we'll do you one that we have recorded on our duet album, Karina Rose Loxton and Jeremy Stevens' Songs of Home and Inspiration. <clears throat> this one comes from Dave Evans, and uh, sort of by way of Reno and Smiley. We certainly love their version of it as well, and it's one called Highway 52. Mama 
must set sun before you leave me. There's something I want you to do. Promise me that you won't go wrong as you travel down Highway 52. I'm sitting on the banks of the Ohio River as the sunrise kisses the dew. And the foxhounds run and the steamboats roll. I'm sitting on Highway 52. of old West Virginia, Kentucky, she's painted so blue. My road maps out, shoes are made for walking, walking down Highway 52. Way up from Ironton to New Boston town, way on up the road to Portsmouth too. I've made every stop and played every station while traveling down Highway 52. going to do if you don't love me or care about me I'll be headed down highway 52 when it comes time for me to go I'll be hanging up my walking shoes for the last door run in that big black car as they haul me down highway 52 they haul me down Highway 52. All right. Well, we'll switch around just a little bit here, and uh, Corrina will get the mandolin there. And we'll do you a Lubin Brothers song, one that we haven't uh, really performed, but maybe once and maybe never i'm not even sure but uh one we've always enjoyed did you take my i pick? did take your pen well, i had that just sitting there well, for myself i had one over here on my on my my zither box there and uh i forgot i had it over there so this is a song about our lord and uh and living for him living for jesus we certainly uh, try and aim to do that every day in our lives and uh, that's sort of what this song is about well we enjoyed singing it around the house but we never really tried to do it that's right so it's got a good good uplifting message to it hope you enjoy it yes it's called the gospel way make sure i'm oriented right here <laughs> Press along in the right way you must take. If you want a friend at the journey's end, out of debt on that great payday, never stop and lest you be too late to inherit the golden crown. You must walk each day in the gospel way if your works of God be found. Do you love your neighbor as yourself? Do you cheat him not in trade? Would your conscience groan on tomorrow's dawn? Should you meet him on the way? 
never stop no wait lest you be too late to inherit the golden crown you must walk each day in the gospel way if your works of god be found For the praise of man Giving gold that they might see But in secret give And in secret pray He'll reward you openly Never stop, no wait Lest you be too late To inherit the golden crown You must walk each day In the gospel way If your works of God be And I'll come over here on the other side of the store for a little while and go and hang out with the bootleggers a minute. And uh, this is a group that I love to hear, and I come over here every chance I get to, to hear them on a Friday night. It's kind of a reincarnation of the Dry Hill Draggers, which is a band that has been around in this area for years and years and years. The gentleman on the fiddle runs a distillery called Twin Creeks Distillery, and he makes that mountain liquor. And uh, these boys play the mountain music like it ought to be done. Y'all make welcome the Twin Creeks Band right here. Thank you. Thank you. train and uh, the next one we're going to do the winds are blowing in Maggie Valley.
appreciate the extra guitar here. <laughs> All right, gonna kick it off with uh, Old Joe Clark. to go in a slightly different tuning here and we're going to play a short one here for you but it's a great one we're going to play a little bit of black mountain rag and i'd like just like to say uh thanks to the floyd country store of course that's the reason we're here today um 
without the Floyd Country Store, this region um, really wouldn't have a, a really great um, music venue for bluegrass and old time music. Um, and so we're really appreciative. If, So if y'all can, please support the Friends of the Floyd Country Store GoFundMe. All right, here we go. I feel a loud tune. string band one of the finest around this area and the dancers love those guys chris pillman can drive a fiddle as hard as anybody i've ever heard this next group right here is uh made up of the owner of the uh, floyd country store mr dylan Locke, playing bass right here and uh nick falk on the drums great drummer and the gentleman playing guitar has been one of my heroes. I tried to be an electric guitar player many years ago, and it didn't work out too good. But uh, I listened to this guy. I started listening to him back around 1991, I think. And uh, it's, it's been a pleasure getting to know this gentleman since he moved to this area back uh, the end of last year. Uh, he spent about five years touring with Merle Haggard. Uh, he played with a local favorite here, Mr. Clinton Gregory, is where I first heard him playing. And uh, he's toured with a bunch of guys and a bunch of gals and just everybody in the business. He spent the last 20 years in Austin, Texas playing, and he is one of the finest guitar players you'll ever hear. Make welcome Mr. Red Bocart right here. Thank you, Sammy. Hello walls How things go For you today 
aren't you lonely? Since she up and walked away, well, I'll bet you dread to spend another lonely night with me. Ah, oh, but lonely walls, I'll keep you company. Hello, Winda. Well, I see you're still here. Aren't you lonely? Since our darling disappeared Well, look here, it's not a teardrop in the corner of your pain Now don't you try and tell me that it's rain She went away and left us all alone The way she planned So I guess we'll have to learn to get along Without her, if we can Hello, ceiling I'm gonna stare at you a while You know I can't sleep Won't you bear with me a while We've got to all stick together Or else I'll lose my mind I've got a feeling She'll be gone a long, long time Guess we'll have to learn to get along without her if we can. Hello, ceiling. I'm gonna stare at you a while. You know I can't sleep. Now won't you bear with me a while? We've got to all stick together or else I'll lose my mind. I've got a feeling She'll be gone a long, long time And with any luck She'll be gone a long, long time No, thank you This camera, it's on All right, this is the same as a tip jar in a bar I think you just do it online with your PayPal and your Venmo and your Whatever, credit cards. Right? Yeah, whatever. Thanks for having me. And uh, just moved here, like uh, Sammy was saying. Love it in this area, and uh, this is a wonderful place. And they have a bunch of really good music here, a lot of old time and bluegrass stuff. And uh, now that I moved here, I'm going to try and <clears throat> put a little dent in it a little bit somehow here. So, uh, yeah. Anyway. They're praying for rain in California So the grapes can grow and they can make more wine I'm sitting in a honky in Chicago with a broken heart and a woman on my mind I match a man behind the bar for the jukebox The music takes me back to Tennessee When they ask who's a fool in the car A little old wine drinker, me. Came 
Nashville My baby left for Florida on a train I got a job to try and forget her But in Chicago a broken heart is still the same I match a man behind the bar for the jukebox The music takes me back to Tennessee And when they ask who's in my pool they in the corner crying A little old wine drinker The fool in the corner crying, a little old wine drinker, me. All righty, thank you, thank you very much. I'm a big uh, Bob Wills stalker, so uh, I'd like to do a Bob Wills tune or two if I can get away with it here. In a Does your conscience ever bother you? When somebody called my name Try and think of all that I've gone through And hang your head in shame Someone came along and took my place And you gave me all the blame You'll be sorry, darling, yes you will and hang your head in shame Was pretty much the only other one or Was it just your little game? Try and think of all the harm you've done And hang your head in shame I should hate you but I love you still And in my heart I take the blame You'll be sorry, darling, yes you will And hang your head in shame And hang your head in shame All right, I got time for one more. I've been asked to leave, so uh, I'm going to have Sammy come up here and pick a little tune with us. I know he likes that Western Swing stuff, so we'll sneak another one in. On your mark, one, two, oh, one, three. I'm a millionaire But I still got my home in San Antonio When I greet my neighbor With a how you are Well, I'm wealthy, I 
by the king upon the throne. You can have your mansion and your cottage small. I'll just take my home in San Antonio. I just up and I say I'm a native son of San Antonio. There's a sweet somebody by the Alamo. Someday she's gonna be my very own. And we'll buy a high chair in a year or so for a little home in San Antonio. Thank you very much. Sammy. One more time for Red Bocart right there. One of the finest you'll ever hear. And one of the finest people you'll ever know. And he will be hanging around the Floyd Country store when things get back rolling again. He's going to start doing some regular Thursday night gigs up here, I think. And uh, I will be here every Thursday night that he plays, I can tell you that. <laughs> Alan Mills says he wants a cot. Just fix him a bus bunk on the side of the wall over here. And... Uh, It's an honor to get to sit in with this gentleman right here. Gene started out playing in the dance hall way back when. And uh, where you had, if you played banjo, you had to play rock and roll and country and swing and everything. And uh, he was uh, a master at it. And still is to this day and, and one of the finest you'll ever hear. We're going to pick a couple of tunes for you here. Do a little twin banjo stuff. How about that, old buddy? Real, real easy, but make it simple. That's right, that's right. Here's an old tune called The Home Sweet Home.
<laughs> Mr. Gene is, is just, it's an honor to get to see you and pick with you. And uh, we need to do this more often. Oh, yeah. You better, yeah, plan it up, fix it up, because I'm getting on up in the age. Yes, so time's running out. No, it ain't. <laughs> Nowhere close. This is the next thing we're going to do is a old big band song from way back when that Earl Scruggs got a hold of back in, in uh, I guess, in the 50s when he started doing this tune. Yeah, probably 52 or somewhere like yeah. that. Yeah, and uh, he came out with an album called the Foggy Mountain Banjo Album, and this was a tune that was featured on there. And uh, we'll do our little rendition of it here. It's called The Dear Old Dixie. Sample, let me play with you, boy. Thank you, Gene. I appreciate you so much. <laughs> Welcome to our little part of the show. Yes, this is uh, Cheyenne Grantham and Wyatt Grantham. My name's Mac Trainum. They, uh, Cheyenne's been a fiddle student of mine through the Handmade Music School. Well, I just learned banjo a lot from Andy Buckman down in Franklin County. And we're going to play a tune that's one that was one of the first tunes I ever heard old time in Floyd County called Ebenezer. And we got our little buddies down here to dance for the night because Floyd Country Store is such a dancing venue. And these were made by Mr. R.O. Slusher several years ago. And, and they're going to try to cut a little bit while we play. All right, play them that little bit of Ebenezer. Go for it. Thank you. 
We're going to get Mr. Gene Parker to join us now. Come on in, Gene. Yes, I'm going to tell you. Y'all build me up big time here. Big time doing it, yeah. Somebody take a picture of this right here. I want to know. Yes, sir. Gene, you've known these kids since they were just getting started, hadn't you? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we got him joining in with us. And we're going to play a little fly around my pretty little miss and Shining White are going to sing a little bit. Would you like to say something? Tell about Andrew and Ash teaches you. Yeah, they've learned some vocals from Andrew and Ash over here. And uh, it's going to be our last number. But go ahead and let's play and we'll get a little dancing going and singing whole nine yards. Okay. got some people tuned in and hanging out with us tonight. I uh, want to remind you too, there's uh, a link to a GoFundMe page and you can uh, donate to the Floyd Country Store. We're trying to raise money to keep all this stuff going on here and all this great music and we got a lot of, a lot of great talent here tonight supporting this thing and, and we, we hope that you'll uh, help us continue to this, this going on. We're going to do I guess this is Sammy and Friends again, and uh, we're going to do some more stuff here, but I'm going to feature two, crowd, these two gentlemen that had a band started back in the early 70s called Found, and the band toured continually until about a year ago, and uh, Gene spent the better part of 15 years, or 17, 18 years, I guess, playing with the band, and uh, he... He retired from the music, and uh, but he still still picks, and we're glad he does. And one more time, Jesse Smathers, Alan Mills, and Gene Parker here. <laughs>
going to jam one here and we want to give Mr. Red Folkhart back up here one more time. Ooh, I don't know if I can stand it or not. So. <laughs> he ruined me a while ago. Uh, Alan Mills was about to fall out of his chair out there a while ago. When if he I'd have had something in my hand, I'd have broke it right there. <laughs> I couldn't took it. Sound like that throwing that comfy cup at Camp Springs. <laughs> don't, don't, don't even talk about that. <laughs> yeah, while he's hooking up, I'll tell you a little quicker. I love twin fiddles the best in the world. <laughs> and uh, I think it was, uh, might have been the Pinnacle Boys it was on stage down there at that time. And they had uh, Randall uh, Collins and Jerry Moore was, yes, was the fiddle players. Yeah. And uh, they was playing Musty Throw Dirt in My Face. And them yeah. fiddles was crying, Lord, how my son was crying. And I had a cup in my hand, didn't have nothing. And I done stood it long as him. I just jumped up and hollered, damn it, right? Throw it down, about seven, eight people jumped up and run. And <laughs> thought I'd lost my place and I almost had, you know. <laughs> the fight had broke out, hadn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I've sat around and listened to Alan Mills tell stories like that for the last 25 years or so and have enjoyed every minute of it and uh, have learned a lot of life's lessons from this gentleman. And uh, he's he's been awful good to me. And, we're glad to have him up here tonight. We're going to do an old Western swing tune that these guys cut back around 1981, I believe it was. And uh, Gene put the wampus on this thing now. When, he, when I first heard this and I heard that kickoff, it was the most drive I'd ever heard come out of a banjo. Boy, howdy. Boy, howdy. And uh, we're going to get Red to sit in and play a little guitar with us. This is one called the Eye to Red. with the feet in the hall.
two I've ever seen. Hide a red, hide a red, I'm plump so the bite, hide a red. Hide a red, hide a red, I'm plump so the bite, hide a red. The end. <laughs> <laughs> That's all, no more. <laughs> Yeah. We're going to bring uh, Come here, Chris. Chris Prelliman. Get your fiddle out real quick. And uh, Andrew. We're going to get Andrew to come up here and play some bass with us. And uh, Chris is one of my favorite old time fiddle players. I got in a jam with him and Gene Parker. Oh, it's been 15 years ago, probably. And just had the best time in the world you have ever heard playing old time music. And that's. Something that I dearly love. Get them all tuned up here and and uh, get on with some. This is a tune that Chris introduced me to, and one of the drivingest old time fiddle tunes I've ever heard. And it's called. Yalla, you'll play let's do some yalla cat, man. Not not black cat, a red cat, yalla cat. Thank you, Alan Mills. We appreciate you and we love you.
All right. Well, thank you all very much. That was a lot too much fun. I'm out of breath. We'd like to uh, introduce a group that um, is a very, very entertaining group and a very talented group out of Bristol, Tennessee. And uh, the old radio show out of Bristol for years and years and years was the Farm, farm and Fun Time. And they have brought that back and doing a, a radio show and a TV show based on that old radio show. And we'd like to introduce, if you would, please, the Bill and the Bells. Howdy folks, we're Bell and the Bells uh, and happy to be here. We're at the Blue Ridge Music Center this afternoon, uh, gearing up for maybe our only live performance of the year in front of a small group of people. And uh, we're very happy to be here in support of the Floyd Country Store and a place that we love and is dear to our hearts and we know to yours too. We're going to play one in here called The Wild Horse. <laughs> Mostly in, 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 the, in East Tennessee and Southwest Virginia. Aiden here on the banjos from Nashville. Uh, we're from Johnson City, Kalia and me. And Andrew, of course, somebody you know well, uh, from right over there in Floyd. So we're kind of all over, all over Tennessee and Virginia and come together for some shows, which is great. Um, we're going to jump into an original tune. This is one that we wrote a little while ago. It's called, I'll Never Be Happy Again. And it goes like this.
again. That'll be on our new record that's bound to come out anytime soon. Sometime any soon. Any day now. Any day now. Yeah. <laughs> we wish. We wish. <laughs> we'll see. We're still trying to figure that part out. But we do have a new record on the horizon. Uh, all original material. We think you'll like it. So keep up with us. Uh, Alright, we've got one more tune that we're going to play for you. And uh, again, we really appreciate being here. Support the Floyd Country Store. Uh, we love the venue and love all the great folks uh, who put on such amazing programming in Floyd and uh, are always honored to be a part of it. And uh, it, it, as I said, it really is a, a home away from home for us three. And, and it, it feels great every time we come back. So we look forward to the next time that we'll be uh, back there at the Country Store uh, playing in the flesh, maybe sometime soon. Who knows? Let's get one that you all know. You can you can help with help us out with this one. The one people been singing for a long, long time. It's called "It Ain't Gonna Rain No More, No More." It ain't gonna rain no more. <laughs> That was Bill and the Bells, and check them out on Blue Ridge Public TV. We got to do that show with the Lonesome River Band 
last year, and I think it was aired recently, but uh, a great piece of work, The Farm and Fun Time, and y'all check them out. This next group, uh, well, one thing I want to say is please go to the GoFundMe page. If you've enjoyed the show tonight, you've seen a lot of great talent up here, and uh, it's hard to put things like this together, and the store does a great job at this, and uh, we want you all to support the Floyd Country Store any way you can. This next group is just a phenomenal bunch of musicians here. Um, Eli Wildman is local here to Floyd and uh, a wonderful player, the, the group of the Wildmans. And uh, I really enjoy getting to hear them play. Nick Falk on the drums, you've been seeing him tonight. And this gentleman over here on the banjo, he and I have something in common. We, uh, we were blessed by the generosity of Mr. Steve Martin, the comedian who uh, is a banjo player himself and started an award back in 2010 called the Steve Martin Excellence in Banjo and Bluegrass. And it's kind of branched away from bluegrass and done other things. And this guy is a phenomenal claw hammer player more than the most innovative I've heard in a long time. And uh, he was the 2019 winner of the Steve Martin Excellence in Bluegrass and Banjo. And this young lady that's going to sing for you is a wonderful songwriter from up around Galax, Virginia. And I know her grandpa. I know her daddy. Um, I've, it's a musical family. They, they all got it going on. And uh, she was recently featured in the Rolling Stones country section and uh, has three albums out. Check them out. Make welcome Dory Freeman. song that uh, Nick back here on the drums wrote. Um, we're going to do another new one for y'all that I wrote. It's going to be on uh, a record we're going to make in September and um, I just want to give a little shout out to the Floyd Country Store. This was one of the first kind of professional gigs that I ever played and it's still one of my favorite places to play so definitely support them. Um, and this is, uh, this is one called Appalachian. I 
I come from the hollow Me and the flowers got taller We reached right out to the sun We drank a ball of the rain Like a spider we spun I web in all directions They'll try to wither you right down Tear you up from the I'd say a callous hand is far better than a callous mind. I'm an Appalachian. I'm a cripple creeper. I'm a can to ashen for the rest of the world. everybody, my name is Skylar Locke. I am the son of Heather and Dylan, who are the owners of the Country Store. The Country Store is a place of connection, community, and love. Several years ago, I met a man at the radio show. He was a long time season pass holder, and he was one of the kindest people I had ever met. His name was John Sabian, and he was in his late 80s. Over the years, our relationship grew and grew and grew. And we often had philosophical conversations about life and death. And one day I decided I wanted to interview him. So I gave him a call and I interviewed him. And here's a couple clips from the interview. I'm about a, maybe a 60-year-old person um, uh, imprisoned in a 92-year-old in a, uh, um, Carcass. Uh, that's that's my that's my problem. I know I'm, I'm I'm not being flip about that. I really 
I, I'm, my mind is sharp and I'm bright and I'm curious and, and I'm in love with life and all of that, but um, I, I, I don't have um, insights of a 92-year-old yet. I don't know what the secret of life is. I just know that life is. Uh, I guess the secret of life is is that it is. Um, uh, and I think it, it always has been and always will be. Um, I remember uh, when Mount St. Helen exploded and laid waste thousands and thousands of acres of the state of Washington uh, and, and, and under under uh, inches and feet of, of ash and devastation and there was a photograph I think it was in Life magazine there was a photograph of a little green shoot coming up out of the ashes and um, that's sort of a, I, I don't know uh, um, it's, it's sort of like life wants to always be uh, even after death, life wants to be. Once again, thank you all very much, and uh, please... Donate if you can. We want to keep the Floyd Country Store going, and uh, this is this is a great place for us. It I live three miles from here, so I'm totally blessed to be this close to a great music venue and get to hear a lot of great music. The next group up is uh, members of the Foghorn String Band, and they're they're a Floyd Country Store favorite. And they're a great string band from out in Portland, Oregon, and uh, we got Caleb Cloudner and Reed Wilms from the Foghorn String Band is going to play for you now. Make them welcome. Hey, Reeb. Hey, Caleb. How's it going? Pretty good. How are you? Doing all right. Missing playing live music with my friends. Me too. Well, here's one for the Floyd Country Store. We love you guys. Thanks so much for supporting live music and doing so much for American old time music. We love you all, we miss you. Here's one called the Duck Shoes Rag.
Well, I think we'll play one more for you. Let's do a song, Caleb. All right. What about B? You know any songs from Virginia? Stanley Brothers. They all their songs are from Virginia. <laughs> Here's one from the Stanley Brothers. You better get right, little darling. Let's see. Let's do it. All right. y'all miss you we're way out here in the west you're way out there in the east hope we see you soon took her mask off. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> um, this next group uh, resides here in the Floyd area and they are part of what keeps this music going on and the youth that uh, Andrew and Ash bring to this music and to this store has really stepped it up a lot. They do a lot with workshops, the, the music school and just a whole lot of stuff going on that they, they um, yeah, handmade music school is, is something that they're very much involved in. And uh, it's just great to have people like them carrying this music on. Let's make welcome, if you would, Andrew and Ash, Mike Trainum, the Macedon. What is it? Macedon? New Macedon Rangers. New Macedon Rangers. They didn't write that part on my list here. That name wasn't on my list. <laughs> All right. Uh, the New Macedon Rangers. Yeah. Well, we're glad to have Sammy joining us on this first tune here. We're going to have a few guests through this little set. This is a version of Bill Cheatham.
Jean up here to join us on a waltz. Got a waltz for you now. We learned this from a recording of uh, Red Allen and Frank Wakefield, but I believe it was uh, writ written by the Morrison brothers. I'm not sure who wrote it, actually, to be honest. I think that's who wrote it. <laughs> and oh. it's called Somebody Loves You, Darling. Here we are at County Sales, right across the street from the Floyd Country Store. County Sales has the world's largest selection of old time and bluegrass music, and today we're and, featuring um, the. It's a, it's a gospel song called "Will the Circle Be Unbroken." Oh, that's the key right there. <laughs> All right. A flat. A flat. That's right. There are loved ones in the glory whose dear forms we often miss. When you close your earthly story, will you
our motto every time we get together and play music this song is called stay all night
so much. We've been the New Mastin Rangers and Mac Trainum and Friends. And next, I believe we have a great commercial coming from our favorite uh, retailer of old time and bluegrass and early country music, and that is County Sales. So stay tuned. Hey, everybody. Here we are at County Sales, right across the street from the Floyd Country Store. County Sales has the world's largest selection of old time and bluegrass music, and today we're featuring the new Tommy Jackson box set brought to you by Dr. John K. Martin and Gary Reed. This collection is full of classic tunes. Standards like Black Mountain Rag, Sally Gooden, Ragtime Annie, Boil Them Cabbage Down. Okay, shh. Just, just take a listen. Ah, the sound of square dance music without calls. Oh, yeah. This great collection of fiddle music is great for anyone who loves great fiddle music. <laughs> <laughs> Get your copy at countysales.com. Now we're going to play a tune that we learned off this box set called Jackson's Hornpipe. Hope you enjoy. absolutely delighted to be part of this um, virtual Floyd radio show and to help Dylan and Heather and the Floyd Country Store raise a little money for the absolutely. store. Like um, most small businesses in these COVID times, they're, they're hurting a little bit. So we're hoping that people will donate to this fundraiser. Yeah, like you can, even if it's a small yeah. amount. Yes, even if it's a small amount. Just, you know, a dollar, ten dollars, whatever you can $100. afford. Ten dollars? Yeah. <laughs> Thousand? <laughs> <laughs> uh, to help benefit the Floyd Country Store and the Handmade Music mm -hmm. Workshop Series. And uh, Heather and Dylan have given so much back to this community that I hope everybody will kind of join in and go to the Floyd, the Friends of the Floyd Country Store, they have a GoFundMe page, so check it out, GoFundMe, and donate what you can. So we're going to, um, this is <laughs> the fabulous Miss Kay Justice <laughs> from um, uh, uh, Whitfield, Virginia. We're, we're, at the moment, we're in, we're in the greater downtown Pine, Pine Creek. Creek Bar, it looks like. <laughs> Um, 
And we're going to do a couple of tunes for you. So joining lots of other great musicians. So make sure you check this fundraiser out. And um, the first tune we're going to do is one that was written by a friend of ours that lived in Galax, Virginia for a long, she was born and raised there, worked in the furniture factory there. Her name was Nell Smith and she wrote a lot of really good songs and this is one of them. Um, talking about uh, an old boyfriend that was kind of a loser. Yeah. And we hope she dumped him, I don't know. <laughs> it's called, The Devil's Gonna Meet You Down at the Old Still. Are you ready, Kane? I'm ready. <laughs> I hope I am. Okay. Virginia. And now um, we'd like to do a song. This is a song I wrote a while back <laughs> called Get Up and Do Right. And I think it's a good song for these times and people should get Absolutely. up and do right. All day long. Yeah. And they, a lot of them aren't. Not doing right? No, they're not doing right. should. Get up in the morning and do right.
lot of good music on this fundraiser, so pay attention and don't forget to donate whatever you can. Bye-bye. The Floyd Country Store appreciates. They did. Bye. Bye. Hey everybody, Joe Bass here at Studio 808A. Thank you so, so much for tuning in to the Friends of the Floyd Country Store fundraiser today. Uh, we really appreciate any uh, donation that you can make, small or large, to help us keep uh, this thing going. I think the winter, uh, when we all have to be back inside, is going to be really hard for music venues and, and lots of places, so we really appreciate that. You know, the Floyd Country Store is so much more than just a restaurant and a music venue and a music shop. It is really a hub for our community here. It brings people from all over the world to the Blue Ridge Mountains here to celebrate mountain dance and music culture. It's a great place to bring our young people and our old people uh, together, um, you know, uh, music education. It, it, it also brings people to our area from all over the world, which uh, allows um, all of us local businesses to work together uh, to create a new mountain economy here. It's just a really wonderful thing for uh, a, a lot of reasons, and we just really appreciate your support. Uh, I've got a short clip I'd lo love to play for you here, kind of um, on that edge of, of where bluegrass and old-time music intersect. This is a band that uh, doesn't even have a name yet. There's an album going to be coming out at some point in the future. Uh, I'd love to share it for you. It was uh, shot a few years ago before uh, COVID. No, that's why we're like close together, no masks, all that. And... Um, it, uh, we're going to play the June Apple for you. This is Joseph DeCosimo on the fiddle, Ken Landreth on the banjo, Jim Nelson on the guitar, Jim Collier on the mandolin, and yours truly on the bass. Enjoy, and please keep those donations coming.
Thanks again for being here. And uh, I'd like to uh, tell you about a young lady that's going to come up and sing some for you now that uh, about 10 or 12 years ago I was asked to do a tour for uh, the um, National Council for the Traditional Arts, and it, it featured Appalachian music, and I was introduced to this young lady. She is um, a singer way beyond her age. She knows all these old folk songs and presents them in a way that I've never heard before and is an, an amazing singer. Make welcome, if you would, Elizabeth LaPrell. I'm going to sing Hills of Mexico.
Mexico. Thank you, Elizabeth. That was wonderful. And thank you for being with us tonight. We got the mask Macedon Rangers here. I'm just rebel, I reckon. You the rebel. Yeah, You've always yeah. been there. Yeah, I ain't got no mic. Exactly who you are. Thank you all for being here with us tonight. You've got to hear a bunch of great music, and I've gotten to play with some of my heroes, and, I, and a bunch of them are up yeah. here. And uh, thank you all so much. We're going to do an old Civil War song for you here called Angelina Baker. God bless you all. Everybody, it's Dylan and Heather, and uh, we're excited. Uh, well, we're honored uh, to have just witnessed uh, this evening, and we're grateful for the musical family that surrounds us every day of our lives. This Floyd Country Store family is like no, nothing else in the world, and um, the fact that all of these incredible musicians uh, came to our, you know, support us tonight is just really an honor, and we're humbled and grateful and so so incredibly thankful for their support and for all of you as well we've been missing everybody and we just really never imagined that we would be in this position so as hard as this is it's nights like tonight that makes this really special it's been really special for me to witness all the people that care so deeply about what happens here and what we do and what our staff does and um, it's been overwhelming to know that to so many we are a place of hope and caring and a place where people 
come together uh, and celebrate their humanity together through dancing and music. And so many people have made it really clear that places like this little store really, really matter in the world and that it brings them a lot of hope to know that there are places like this where people come together. Yeah, and uh, you know, we were lucky because we had this group of people approach us that wanted to take care of us and help us out. And we ask all of you, um, not only are we grateful for your support of the Floyd Country Store, but think about all the musicians and the music venues and the performing art centers uh, that are struggling right now. So we're asking you to maybe reach out to your music venue, your performing art center, and make sure they're doing okay. Um, support them. This is, to, to us at the Floyd Country Store, music and dancing and community and uh, music education is what life is all about. It's the most fascinating thing that us humans do together. And it's really, really powerful. And so we really need to all pull together and make sure our music, music community stays solid through this pandemic. And that when we get on the other side, uh, that you have all of the musicians and the music venues, and we have a place to gather and celebrate what life is all about. So we ask you to just reach out. You know, we're grateful that you helped us tonight, but reach out to your local community and make sure they're doing okay. Yeah. And thank you to everyone who has called and sent letters and reached out to us to cheer us on. Um, it's really powerful and it's really good to know that we have a beautiful community of people around us who have our back and are going to make sure that we're here for a long time. And like Dylan said, it's important to do that in your own community. Um, it's important that we look out for each other right now. Yep. And so we miss y'all. Love y'all. Can't wait to get back together again. And um, until then, we'll be trying to send out some music to you out there wherever you are. And I know so many musicians are doing the same. So support them, throw a few dollars mm -hmm. in their uh, tip jars and, and uh, keep this thing going. Um, it's incredible. We love y'all and can't wait to see you again. Thank you. Thanks. Be well.